What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and in today's video we're going to be learning how to create this interesting looking time stutter effect. This effect works best when you've got lots of movement in your scene, whether that be someone dancing or running or maybe even some cars going around a racetrack. It's also really nice and simple to make and it works really really well when it's paired with some other glitch effects. We'll be working in Premiere Pro today, so if you have Premiere Pro we are good to go. Let's not waste any more time, let's jump straight into the computer and learn how to create this time stutter effect. Okay guys, so once you're in Premiere Pro, the first thing you need to do is double click down here, find your clips or clip and import them. I've already gone ahead and done this today, I've got some nice clips of drifting cars to work with and also this effect works really well when it's synced to a song. So I've gone ahead and found myself some music, let's have a quick little listen. And there we go, we've got some nice drum and bass to work with today, I thought it would fit really well with the fast drifting cars, and also it's got a nice little bit like this that can work really nicely with the effect. So I've got four different clips here, I'm going to show you four different methods of creating this effect, so let's move three of them out of the way for now so we can focus on the first one. I've also already made some markers in the song where I want to add the effect, so I'm going to go to the first marker here. We're going to press C on our keyboard for the razor tool, make a cut right there. We're going to go forwards two frames with the right arrow key on our keyboard, make another cut there. You can go forwards more than two frames if you want. The more frames you go forward, uh, the longer and more exaggerated the effect is going to be. But I think two frames works best in my example here. So I'm going to press V on my keyboard for selection tool. We're going to move this section out of the way for now. We're going to go and select this little section we've just made, hold Alt on our keyboard and click and drag it over to duplicate it. Again, you can do this as many times as you want. I'm gonna do it five times here. The more times you do it, the longer your effect is gonna last. We're then gonna select this section here, rip or delete that by pressing delete on the keyboard. Select every other little section we've just made here, holding Shift. We're gonna right click, go to Speed and Duration, click on Reverse Speed, and press OK. And there we go guys, it's simple as that, that is the first method of creating the time stutter effect. If we play through it here, you'll see we are getting the effect already. This is probably my favourite method of creating the effect, uh, the little bit of reverse speed in there makes it just that little bit more interesting. But anyway, that's the first method, let's move on to the second method. I don't want to waste any time today, so let's drag this over. We're going to go to our second marker here, C on the keyboard again for the razor tool, make a cut, go forward two frames again, make another cut, move this out of the way, select this section, hold alt, duplicate it over a couple of times, like so, maybe one more, ripple delete this section, and now if I play through this now, there we go guys, it's simple as that, honestly. That's the second method, it's obviously a little faster and more exaggerated. So let's move on to the third method, drag our clip over, go to the third marker, see on the keyboard, make a cut, go forward one frame this time, make another cut, go forwards another two frames, make another cut, another one frame and make another cut. We're then going to drag this section out the way, we're going to delete this section in the middle and then ripple delete that gap. Again, the amount of frames you go forward uh, before you make your cuts is completely up to you. It's all down to preference, how you like the look of it and which works best for your clip. But anyway, we're gonna do the same again. We're gonna select both of these sections, hold Alt, duplicate them a couple of times, like that. Ripple delete that. Now if I play through that now, You'll see it's a much more exaggerated time stutter effect we got going on there. So there we go guys, that's three methods. The final method, drag this over, get to our marker, press C on our keyboard again, make a cut. We're going to go forwards uh, one frame, make another cut. Drag this section out of the way, same again, select our little section there, 
hold alt and just make as many duplicates of it as you want duplicates I should say sorry there we go maybe that's too many let's do one less ripple delete that and this time we're gonna zoom in press Y on our keyboard for the slip tool what we're gonna do is we're, on this first little section here we're gonna click and drag to the left by a few frames let's do four second one we're gonna do to the right by four frames there we go third one left again by let's do eight frames I think you get the idea now there we go same again let's do let's just crank it right up there we go that should do maybe two more now if I play through that now you'll see it's a much much more exaggerated version again you can mess around with how many frames uh, each cut is and how far you go with the slip tool maybe you want to completely randomize it and just go crazy and make a crazy time starter effect but I think that works well for this example so guys if I play through this now that's all four methods of creating the time starter effect you can get creative and start mixing them up and combining them together to create some really unique effects but we can take this slightly to the next level now by adding um, a little bit of blur to it. So we're going to add an adjustment layer. I've already made one here, but if you don't know how to do it, click this button down here for new item. Go to adjustment layer. Press OK. We're going to drag that above our footage here. We're going to make sure it's just two frames long. So we're going to go forwards two frames. Raise the tool. Cut that there. Delete that. Drag this over here. Then we're going to go to effects type in blur go down to Gaussian blur click and drag that onto our adjustment layer we're going to change this from horizontal and vertical to just horizontal make sure repeat edge pixels is checked put this to let's say around 70 I'm just going to drag this in between our cuts like that so hold alt duplicate it same as before there we go so if I play through it now it just adds that little bit of extra interest to it with that nice bit of blur. So I'm going to go ahead and do this again for the other ones. Let me just move over here. One more. Play through that. Yeah, it works really nicely with this one in my opinion. Let's do another one over here. Ooh, that's interesting. Let me delete that one there. Quite like that. I kind of prefer that effect with the blur on top, in my opinion, that method. Okay, and the final one, let's see what this looks like. Maybe let's do it like this. There we go. there we go guys as you can see this adds that little bit extra to the clip with the blur and that's looking nice so the final thing that you might be thinking is that I've made all these cuts but it looks really messy in my project and I also want to add extra effects without having to add it to all of the tiny little sections so this is an easy fix I'm just gonna add a new track here to give myself some room to select what you got to do is select all of the cuts right click go to nest I'm just gonna call this drift one press ok and there you go guys all of your cuts have been put into one whole clip you can then make extra cuts from now on if you want to further edit your video like this simple as that guys you can also obviously add effects say I wanted to add a flip horizontal there we go but there we go guys that's how you fix the whole messy cut situation um, and there we go that's four different methods on how to create the time stutter effect 
So I hope you guys found today's video helpful. If you did and you want to show me some support, please drop a like on the video, smash that like button for me. Also let me know down in the comments section below if you have any questions or if you got stuck at any point and I'll do my very best to help you out. And also let me know if you have any suggestions for future tutorials you'd like to see me do. Subscribe for more videos like this one and make sure you hit the bell button as well to turn on post notifications, otherwise YouTube will not show you when I've uploaded a video. And until next time guys, I will see you in the next video.